Welcome back to the Daniel Thomas Show. And Tom, you've got one for us today. What's going on? Well, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I just yes, wondered, do you have plans for Valentine's Day? I do not. I do not have Valentine's You don't have Day. plans. No. And, and how are you with that? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm fine with that. You know, um, I'll tell you, last Valentine's Day, I, I think that uh, um, you've once said that Valentine's Day is amateur hour. Yeah. And that people think that they have to have a date for Valentine's Day. And uh, um, when you mentioned that to me last, I'm like, gosh, what did I do last Valentine's Day? I was chasing this one woman that didn't work out. And uh, I ended up having dinner with my foreclosure buddy, Doug. And uh, it's funny, I met a woman in the restaurant that night. Too, <laughs> so it was kind of funny. But I uh, ended up hanging out with my friend, Doug, and bought him dinner and uh, his soft hands. So mm -hmm. it's nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, I, I, I guess the, the point here is every day, if you're in a good, solid relationship or in a dating relationship, every day can be Valentine's Day. Absolutely. So why, why do you need to make that one day when everybody else is trying to do the same thing? All these expectations are high. The flowers are late. The candy's melted in the car. The restaurant service is slow and it's noisy. You can't even talk to the okay. person. I've known you since we were kids. Didn't yes. You, didn't you have a gig where you actually delivered flowers on yes. Valentine's Day and Mother's Day? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And you would, and you made a fortune. Like, okay, I'm going to do three hours, but because of what we've done for jobs, yeah. knowing driving, this was probably fifty. That's probably over twenty years ago. Yeah. Right. A friend of mine owns a flower shop, and as as a favor, as a friend, I it wasn't even a paying gig, but the tips were phenomenal. And I wasn't looking for tips; I was just trying to help a friend out who was uh, overwhelmed by this holiday of giving flowers. Now, I will say this: uh, I've got plans for Valentine's Day, though. The question is, who's the lucky guy? No, I know it's your <laughs> wife. <laughs> well, I know it's your wife. You you know it's my wife, but. The, the beauty here is my wife and I have an agreement that Valentine's Day isn't going to be one of those days that we try and compete with everybody at a restaurant. So we've got a couple's massage lined up. Oh, good for you. So, I mean, you know, this is not a first date. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, not a first date idea. But, yeah, I spent $1,000 you know, on it, that, Dan. Yeah, it's huh. just it's something that really is nice for both of us. And at the same time, I know that I'm not going to have to compete with 50 people because I got a reservation oh, and it's, cool you know, that? it's that's just, a good one. it's going to be great. We're going to grab some food on the way home and that'll be that. That is, that's sweet. But so. see, that's the thing. I think that uh, too much, I, it's just such a manufactured holiday and people have written me about this and how not to feel depressed about this. Guys, I'm telling you, Thanksgiving's on a Thursday, you know, uh, Christmas this year was on a Monday. You know, you've got to understand that Thanksgiving is just another day in the week. And if you, you've got to be content with yourself before you can ever be happy with somebody else. But let me correct you. Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday, yes, but I is. think Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday this year. I didn't look at a calendar yeah. when I started spelling he, he, He's worried about not being invited over for Turkey, but we're actually yeah, talking exactly. about Valentine's Day. Well, Man, but what I'm saying <laughs> is that is that be content with yeah. yourself and, and just... It, it's so important. I, I know, you know, a lot of people that just are not happy and they right. just are not content. And they also would settle with being with somebody that didn't make them happy, which is worse, guys. What are you going to do? You're really going to be with, around somebody that that really is not going to fill the void correctly. I right. mean, just, you know, they don't check all the boxes. Come on. I, I, I just, you know, a friend of ours that um, we've known since we were kids, we used to go to her parties and stuff yep. and I won't say her name. But uh, she's a lawyer now. Uh -huh. And um, one thing that she was telling me was dating, the disasters, and just how, you know, um, you know, how what she experienced. And she said, I finally met a normal guy online and uh, he ha owns a business and he has his own job and it's just normal. There's no drama and no. Th and I'm like, really? So she's very happy because the guy is just normal. Yeah. And wants to go, I, I'm sorry, I can't see you Thursday because I've got a meeting, I've got to work. And with that, it has just made a great relationship. And she's very happy and very content and had to kiss a lot of frogs before she got to this guy, sure. but is very, very content with that. And again, you know, 
I just people people want to get swept be swept off their feet. People want to have this romantic image of what uh, dating's like twenty four seven, and it's not like that. You know, you right. throw in life and you throw in paying your bills and everything else, and you've got to have somebody that's that's content and good. But I just I'm telling you, people settle for the wrong with the wrong people all the time. Well, it, you're, there's people that are settling for the wrong people because they're unwilling to wait and do the work. They're just in a hurry. And at the same time, they don't feel good about themselves. And they think this is as good as it gets. This is, this is what I'm supposed to have. And then five, six, 10, 12 years into the marriage, all of a sudden, they're not content anymore. Well, they weren't content day one because they weren't content with themselves. Yeah. So I think you're going to hear this from Daniel and myself ongoing. If you don't take care of you, you're not going to be able to take care of somebody else. I had somebody last week says, oh, I know somebody wants to go out with you, but I know you would never go out with her because uh, she's a mess. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> well, thank you. I don't want to know her name. You know, it's so that it yeah. just... You know, no, you just draw the line, guys. Draw the line in your own life and your own happiness. It's your life, too. Remember that. But people get so miserable and so sad. You know, I, we talked about this on one of the previous videos about the lady that cuts my hair. Her neighbor gave a woman online $1.5 million. Uh, but don't worry, she's going to pay me back. And I'm like, let me help you get yeah. the police involved in this and with the stuff I know how to do. And, uh, um, you know, and again, don't worry, she's she's just having a rough patch right yeah. now. For a million five, that's a real rough patch. It, and, the, and this goes back to the, the fishing expeditions that a lot of older people are put into, uh, thinking that they found love and all they found is somebody to try and scam them out of any, any financial uh, wherewithal that they have. So please be careful, be aware. Make your parents aware. If your parents are single, if they're widowed, check in on, check in on them. That, I mean... This is this is the kind of stuff where you go, hey, Dad, uh, no, I don't, I don't care if uh, you know if, if she's needing that that money because she just got into an auto accident and has to have surgery. Well, it, we know that you know Rajesh in Bangladesh doesn't really have an auto accident, nor does he need the money for. Because he's uh, a dude and not a woman. <laughs> well, there's probably that too, but. It, just check in on your parents, please. You know, be be wise be, and check in on your friends. I mean, I check in on him all the time, and it's like, holy crap! Oh, you're doing that? That's cool. Yeah. That's what you should say. <laughs> no, but guys, <laughs> again, again, just it's uh, you, you have to uh, you know you have to choose your happiness. You have to choose the people you want to be around, and don't let some artificial date. Yeah. Get you and I. I've had people have. What do you do when there's a wedding and you don't have a date for the wedding? Don't you, if you don't have a significant person. I have a uh, yeah. niece that's getting married, and they're like, "Oh, you're not going to bring a date? No, I'm not." I wasn't so, available that day. Yeah, so exactly. It wasn't going to work out. Exactly. But, so he's taller than yeah, you. Too. It, it doesn't. Yeah, photos. it doesn't. Doesn't look no. good in the pictures. So, but again, yeah. guys, send us the uh, uh, Daniel Thomas show at Yahoo with your questions and your stories and everything Please. like that, because these are solid gold and we love getting these from you. So uh, we will see you guys very soon. Take care of yourselves. So what do you think? Was that a great episode? Did you see the last episode? Really? This one? I don't know.